Hi, this is Ms. Torres, and we are going to continue our position words today. So this is the GoMath Lesson 10.10, .10, and today we are going to focus on the position words of in front and behind. So looking at this picture of the tree here, we have some animals that you can see. Okay, now if we look at the monkey, we can see that the monkey is in front of the tree and the elephant is behind the tree. So those are the two words that we will be focusing on today using our 3D shapes. First, I'm going to model a couple of problems for you. The first one is to find the object that is shaped like a sphere that is in front of the object shaped like a cube. So we're looking for the sphere that is in front of the cube. So I'm going to mark my X, right? This is my sphere right here, and it's in front of the cube. Here's the cube, and in front of the cube is the sphere. So let me mark an X on the sphere because it is in front of the cube. Now I am looking for the object shaped like a cylinder that is behind the object shaped like a cube. So we see these three students standing in line with an object in their hand. We're looking for the cylinder that is behind the cube, right? So if this is our cube, behind the cube is where you'll find our cylinder. Okay, it's your turn. Let's see if you can do it. Choo-choo! In this picture, we see a train, and we see some objects that are on our train. I wonder if you can find the objects by listening to my clues. I want you to point to an object shaped like a cylinder that is behind the object shaped like a cube. So point to the object that is a cylinder that is behind a cube. One more time, you're looking for a cylinder that is behind a cube. Let's see if you can find it. Bye. Three, two, and one. Okay, so if you're looking at all of these objects and you're looking for a cylinder that is behind a cube, well, let's see here. Here we have our cylinder and we have our cube. And the cylinder is behind the cube. So here is the cylinder that we were looking for. All right, next one. Let me get a different color. I want you to point to the object that is shaped like a sphere that is directly in front of the object shaped like a cone. You're looking for a sphere in front of a cone. Hmm, let's see if you can find it. A sphere in front of a cone. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's see. I see two spheres here. Let's see if you pointed to the right one. We're looking for the sphere that is directly in front of the cone. Well, if this is our cone, in front of the cone is this sphere right here. So you should have circled this blue sphere. If you would like some more practice on this picture, you can find other objects that are in front and behind each other. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to come up with your own. Okay, now we're going to continue with the same thing. So we have a picture with a bunch of different objects in it. It looks like they're about to sew something. So you are going to listen to my clues and then point to the object you think I'm talking about. All right, let's get started. The first clue, I want you to point to an object shaped like a cube that is in front of the object shaped like a cylinder. You're looking for a cube that is in front of a cylinder. Can you find it? First, I'm going to point out the cylinders in this picture. We have one cylinder, two cylinders, and three cylinders. So now we are looking for a cube that
that is in front of a cylinder. Now, where do you see a cube that is in front of a cylinder? Go ahead and point to it. So I would, this cube right here is in front of this cylinder. The other two cylinders are in the front. There's no cube in front of them. So the answer is this cube right here is in front of a cylinder. The next clue is going to be to point to the object shaped like a cylinder that is behind the object shaped like a sphere. So we already pointed out where the three cylinders were. Which cylinder is behind a sphere? Go ahead and point to that one. Five, four, three, two, and one. So we have a cylinder right over here that is behind a sphere, right? Here's our sphere, it looks like a ball of yarn, and behind the sphere of yarn is a cylinder. Now if you want, you can pause the video and you can use the words in front of and behind to name the position of other shaped objects. All right, let's move on. Now if you have a paper or pencil, you can join this activity. We are going to use drawings and pictures to show what we know about 3D objects in front of and behind each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a red sphere. You can use a pencil or whatever you'd like. I'm going to draw a red sphere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a cone in front of the sphere. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, now that I have my sphere in front of it, I'm going to draw a cone. So now we can see that our sphere is hiding behind the yellow cone. Okay, let's do one more. This time I'm going to draw, hmm, let's draw a cylinder. I'm going to draw the little circle at the top, the flat surface, curved edges. And here is my orange cylinder, and in front of my cylinder, I'm going to draw a sphere. So here is my cylinder, and in front of my cylinder, I'm going to draw a sphere. So now you can see that my sphere is in front of the cylinder. So what you can do at home is I want you to think of something in the room that is in front of or behind another object. So you can work with your parents or a sibling or a family member and talk about some objects and if they are in front or behind each other. Thank you for watching the Lesson 10.10 .10 of In Front and Behind. You can also practice your other position words like above and below and beside and next to as well.